Hi guys, you know there are many different add-ons for Blender. Many of them are simply a combination of several native operators and only a small number of add-ons introduce new functionality. I switched to Blender over 5 years ago, mainly creating sci-fi environment for the Unreal Engine. Over the years I have tried many add-ons and even became one of the developers myself and today I will tell you about add-ons that made my life easier. All the add-ons mentioned in the video you can find at the link below. Let's go! Cubelocker is a small but a very useful add-on for creating primitives with quick placement. You can create a cube, plane, cylinder, sphere and other objects interactively. I like that it allows you to change parameters and type of the primitive not only during the creation of the primitive but also after. It has a great snap and grid system that work flawlessly. I use it for modeling basic shapes and blockout stage. It works really great with the box cutter add-on. Pie menu editor is an add-on that allows you to create pie menus, pop-up dialogs, sidebars and toolbars without writing code. It's one of the best add-ons for improving the user interface in Blender. You may have seen several custom pie menus in my videos, all made in pie menu editor. I usually have a separate setup for each project, combining the most used operators and scripts. It is definitely worth your time if you want to keep all the important buttons at hand. Mesh Machine is a mesh modeling add-on with a focus on hard surface work without subdivision surfaces. It can turn chamfers into bevels and back, change widths, unchamfer, unbevel, fix geometry overlaps and many other things. Actually, it makes destructive modeling non-destructive. For example, here I easily reverted all the bevels that I made. In my recent project I used a lot plug feature, where I created my own library of meshes that can be easily inserted into any surface without ruining normals. Machine Tools is a collection of tools and pie menus to improve your life. It contains about 20 custom tools and 10 pie menus. I guess you have seen these pie menus in many YouTube videos. I really like its symmetry tool. If you want to use it, I would recommend disabling all the features in the settings first and enabling them one by one. This way you won't be overwhelmed by the big UI changes and can get a real machine experience. Another great feature is Punch It operator for manifold extrusions. Decal Machine is an add-on where you can create decals and trims, group them into atlas, organize into collections, bake and place on the model, and what is important, the result can be exported to Unreal Engine. Decals can be projected, sliced, created from grease pencil or edges. Trims can be easily placed, cut, manipulated or removed, and all this directly in the 3D view. If you want to build a spaceship from Star Citizen, it's a tool that you must have. GrubDog is an add-on for quickly baking trim sheets and tileable texture maps. I recommend it if you need fast results and don't have time to learn decal machine. I use it a lot to create different trim sheets for different projects because it's easy to set up in one click. The add-on has a preview mode for different maps, so you can see the final result even without baking. Each map has settings and allows you to export the final result for different render engines. When it comes to unwrapping, I can't think of anything better than Zen UE. Perhaps I am biased since I am one of the developers of this add-on, but really, here you will find everything you need to make UVs for your 3D models. Then unwrap to map everything in one click, move, rotate, scale, fit, align and flip islands, stack system, then relax, quadrify islands and selection, trim sheet system, hotspot mapping, world orient, randomize, 
powerful display system and many other features. You can edit UVs not only in UV Editor but also in 3D View using Zen UV Gizmo. Also in Blender 4.2 you can download Zen UV Checker extension for free. It's a small part of Zen UV, but it will show you the level of tools that awaits you in the full version. Of course, right after Zen UV, I'll tell you about UV Pack Master. GPU accelerated scriptable UV packing engine, actually the best UV packer out there, high speed, excellent results, many settings for any possible situation. And it works great in combination with Zen UV. They are like butter and bread that complement each other. To use them together you need to have it installed and select UV Pack Master in Zen UV Pack Engine panel. All my UVs I'm packing this way. Zen Sets is an add-on for managing and highlighting objects and mesh elements in the scene in a non-destructive way. You can create custom mesh groups, create another one and select these object groups in one click without touching collections. The same you can do with faces, edges and vertices. Just save selection to the group and bring it back whenever you want. Zen Sets also contains different tools for converting and organizing groups and Nova tools for baking vertex color information. More details about my Nova project you can find in the description. As someone who switched to Blender from Modo, I really miss some of the handy features. Unfortunately for me, there is a developer who transferred a lot of useful functionality from Modo and adapted it for Blender in KKit add-on. It has many useful scripts for modeling, bookmarks for the cursor and views, and I definitely recommend its combinations of transform orientations and pivot points that I set to my custom pie menu. Hardops is definitely the most famous add-on for Blender, which provides a rich toolkit for creating hard surface models. I'm more than sure that many people use it only for bevel modifier and sharp edges management. Perhaps someone is using mirror and array, but believe me, there is much more if you dive into the menu below. For example, I often use the Clean Mesh tool, which perfectly cleans low poly mesh from edges and vertices. And I also like the combination of the dice and twist 360 tools which helps to create complex cylindrical shapes. Box cutter is an add-on that I use every day. It's without doubt the best assistant for boolean operations. It allows you to cut, slice, insert, join, knife, extract, make and do it with different shapes from box to custom models. You can use destructive and non-destructive approaches with modifiers by your choice. All these features allow you to create complex models quickly and intuitively. What can be done by cutting boxes? Everything. All models that I have done in Blender were done using box cutter. And if you are into modeling and only have money for one add-on, take this one. Cablerator is an add-on, as you can guess from the name, for creating and editing cables. I use it a lot as an assistant for editing cables in my recent project. You can create cables by clicking on geometry, create cables from edges, use different profiles, draw cables, use simulation and much more. All you need to do is to set a couple of points, adjust the thickness and length of the cable, let's create another one and don't forget about simulation to make it more realistic. Just several click and your scene is full of cables. Perspective Plotter is a lifesaver add-on for matching camera to image. It's useful when you're creating 3D models from photos or sketches. It defines perspective lines in the viewport, set the camera focal lens, location and position in real time. You just import image, set lines, ok, 
case this part is not so easy, especially when you're trying it first time. But it works and 100% match your model. If you have two, three photos from different angles, why not to use such great solution to save your time? Conjure SDF is a last add-on to my list. It's still in development, but even at this stage, it's very interesting, as it's a completely new approach to creating hard surface models. Its SDF rendering engine allows you to work with primitives, applying smooth transition between them. Boolean operations help to create very complex shapes very quickly. For example, I have done this model in 10 minutes. In general, it gives pure joy when you create something without worrying about polygons, patches or voxels. The final result can be converted to high poly and low poly meshes. All the add-ons from this video can be found at the link below. Please share any add-ons you recommend to use in the comments. Subscribe and thanks for watching.